just a short preview of the problem. Nothing happens and it just stalls. Third, oh, petrol is okay. In the moment we start on LPG, it stalls. Okay, so I have the cable connected to the computer. And what we can see is that the computer is actually reading the values of the injectors. It's reading the temperature, the RPM, and also the, uh, the gas pressure. We know that there is plenty of gas pressure. Usually 1.5 is sufficient. This is a bit too much. Now, if it's reading everything, it means that we have a different problem. Parameters, calibration. So let's switch gas weighting. It needs to go over 1400 RPM. We saw it tried to it tried to open but it didn't happen. Nothing. Um, what I'm gonna do, I'll try to lower the pressure here because it seems a bit high to me, yeah? Because I already have a probe, probe uh, like this one and I checked if it lights up on the ground and the positive, the power to the computer and it does. But I have a little bit more time and I checked all of the connectors. You can see here they all look brilliant. See, like this. Yeah, power comes on the, I think here is the first and the fourth pin. You can see nothing melted, but here, this doesn't seem right. You can see it, it looks melted. Okay, so I changed the cable. And it's this cable, uh, red with the white stripe, and these four cables, brown, blue, yellow, and red. So I chase them a little bit, yeah? And they all go to the injectors, white and red, comes as a common ground maybe, and the opening is from the four uh, cables. I think it's either the connection melted, yeah, and it's not making a good connection, or the control, the control board that is sending the signal, or on the inside, maybe there is a bad solder joint or something, yeah. So, what I'm gonna do, I'll open this one, yeah, and I'll measure also the resistance in between the pin here and here and we need to see the same as we saw earlier we check in the coils but this definitely needs to be addressed on the back maybe because it's hot it's getting hot on the inside maybe it's just baked the, the solder joint or something because it's it's solder on the back okay so i got the board out this is the pin, the one on the top left, that I was thinking is bad. But to me, it seems absolutely fine. I'll still give it a little touch with the soldering iron. Also here, there is 
four like relays that uh, I don't know if they're good or not I'll check what they are first I can't see any burned components but you never know you can see the board is from 2006 May of 2006 so 20 years old almost 19 years old it's uh, I think it's 28th of May 2025 so I haven't checked the resistance on the coils okay let me touch it up with the soldering iron and I'll see what these components are okay so touch it up a little bit Here and there. I don't know, they, they all seem fine. They all seem fine. I haven't checked in the back here. But I can. I don't know, I'll check them now. So I checked, and there is continuity in between here and here and no connection in between any of them so it's not like a shorted one they're all the same on all five of them so that's not the problem i'll put it back together now i want to show you something and you can see the multimeter and i should have somewhere Okay, so when we plug, this one is the common, let's say, ground, and these are the signal cables. So let's start from here. I know where I start from, trust me. And we got four ohms, can you see them? Yes. Then we probe the next one. at 3.8 ohms okay then the next one we got 4 ohms and then the last one will be 7 7 ohms so which one is this one the one with the red let's see which one is the one with the red This third one. So let's see. What is the resistance in between the red? Yeah, on my cables it's zero point two ohms. Zero point five ohms. somewhere this is 0 0.3 ohms I think somewhere there is a problem it shouldn't be it's such a such a big difference. I just watched my video and the second one with the one was the one with the highest resistance, 3.9 ohm. So if I will lower now I'll put it back together, I will lower the pressure on the reductor. And next step will be buying a new a new coil for this one right there. Okay, I want to show you something. This is a solder. And when I plug it in, it's very soft. When I plug it in in one of these, yeah, I cannot take it out, at least not easy, yeah. When I plug it in the ones with the smaller gauge, I barely can plug it in, yeah. 
and I cannot plug it out. This one here is gaping hole. <laughs> you can see here, yeah. This one cannot plug it in, or at least it's hard, and it's very hard to if you plug it in, it, it springs back. So the connection onto this pin is loose, it's not good. Especially when I cleaned the connector, because I cleaned it. We definitely took some of the metal out. Uh, so, yeah. I'll need to see what I can do about this one now. So what I did, I took the plastic out. I just pried it off like this. Oh! -ho! I'll show you now the difference. Can you see how much open this one is and how open this one is here? Yeah? If you can see it with your eye, it's it's too much. Yeah, you can see how close this one is. Just compare them. And here it's not making a good contact. Hundred percent is not making a good contact. I did on one of them. I just two now on the others. I don't I still don't know why this one is like this. Okay, very gently. But it's still a problematic one. Okay. I'll put everything back now. And I'll give it a test. What do you think? Put the thing in. Whatever. Okay, I have not lowered the pressure. And do you know what I'm gonna do? I'll press uh, parameters and I'll replace the temperature with the lower one. I think 64. Is sufficient PC to issue, and I will switch the way over on acceleration to the acceleration. Yeah, when it's lowering the RPMs. Okay, PC to issue. We'll just override the whole system. Did it happen? I don't know. Load, cancel. No, not download. What? I want to load it. Okay. Um, okay. How did I load it? I don't remember. Uh, safe, maybe safe. Anyway.
então Ixi, outro peixe Ok, anyway We know that it will change It will change So now we got Just gas waiting And it's running <laughs> It's running on LPG, I told ya Yeah So it was a connection on the computer setting We can see that it's staying exactly where it's supposed to be. Parameters. Exit. We'll just load it up again to make sure. I don't know what I did with the loading. I just wanted to make it run on a lower temperature. Monitor, yeah, parameters, at 65. Uh, um, fixed, that's it, it's running, very nice. Uh, that's, that's the problem, I hope this video helps and I'll see you on to the next one, bye bye.